Academy, order them online on Amazon. I don't know if I'm just nervous, bro. I think you're nervous. Ah! We're not here to do this in 30 days, guys. I'm really trying to change your life for 30 years. And remember earlier, I was talking about blood flow. Recently, I messed my shoulder up. Not too bad, just a small tweak. So I've been really taking care of shoulder health. Woo! You ain't sweating during your warm-ups, guys. I don't know if you're doing it right. My hair's going crazy. It's okay to fall out. I personally like to reset. Every Saturday, I like to do active recovery. I don't know what else I should say about that. It's part of my weekly routine. Just kind of give it a couple seconds if I'm gonna edit something out. So it's not like I say something right after I don't want to say something. Oh my God! Today, what we're gonna focus on is active recovery. I like to implement this into my routine twice a week just so I can really take care of any soreness, any tightness inside my muscles. I like to include balance and stability drills to keep my joints healthy and increase their longevity. So I always like to start off with my feet. I normally use a lacrosse ball, tennis ball, or a golf ball. But today I forgot all of those, so I'm using a medicine ball. I really don't know exactly what this is. It's called a power system eight pound ball. I don't know. And anyways, I like to roll the bottom of my feet. I like to run. I like to play basketball. I like to be very explosive. So I want to take care of the foundation. Um, we're going to get to the foam roller. You can buy these at Academy, order them online on Amazon. Um, this is a very simple one. You can get really into the styles of foam rollers that you use. So what is foam rolling? Foam rolling is mild fascial release. If you have knots, if you have tightness, this is a great way to release those knots and to take care of any tightness that you may have going on. We want to get blood flow into these muscle fibers that we've torn down, we've broke down throughout the entire week of exercising. So that's why I like to implement this program twice a week into my routine. Let's just get going, let's get to rolling. We're gonna start with your gastrocnemius, guys. All right, I'm gonna keep it simple, it's your calves. Um, I personally like to roll close to my tendon here, my Achilles tendon. Like to get a solid 10 to 15 rolls here. Is once you find that tender area, you want to sink your body weight into it. So then that will release the knot or help with the tightness. Another tip that you can use is if doing one leg at a time is tough, you can place both legs here and do them at once. I like to do a little turn in and out externally and internally rotate my legs to get both sides of my calves here. I personally like to break my leg into two sections. I like to go from the bottom half to the middle and then from the middle to behind my knee. And guys, this isn't a rush, this isn't a race. We're here to recover. We're not trying to bust out your 20 reps as fast as possible. Now we're gonna do some dynamic movements, basically some dynamic stretching. Um, I really enjoy implementing these into my routines just because I'm not a very stationary uh, mover. Whenever I lift weights, I like to make it very functional. I like to make it very active. I'm not just doing a chest press 100 times, one plane of field. So I like to start with either hugs or Frankensteins. If you train with me, you know we do these often. And if you can't touch your toes, it's okay guys. I like to sometimes start off slow, touch the inside of my knee. This is a great way to loosen up your hamstrings. 
And remember earlier, I was talking about blood flow. So we really want to just get that blood moving. Really get loose. Do hugs. Recently, I messed my shoulder up. Not too bad, just a small tweak. So I've been really taking care of shoulder health. Really finding ways to warm the shoulder up. Not getting any younger guys. 27. Body doesn't recover like you 19 year olds out there. But speaking on that, I wish I would have implemented a lot of these movements when I was 19. really trying to change your life for 30 years. Really learn how to move, find that fine body connection. <laughs> Something I added to my dynamic movements are a lot of hamstring focus movements. Just because as humans, we walk around on our quad dominant muscles all day long, and we don't focus on our posterior side of the body. Toe ups. You ain't sweating during your warm ups, guys. I don't know if you're doing it right. Here's a few movements that I love to do. <laughs> I'm probably not doing this either. So this is called a prone swimmer. five more, okay? probably overuse their shoulders. Do about 10 to 15 of these. Whew. 
shoulders are on fire right now. Gotta take a small break. Got four more. Pretty sure I counted wrong, but we're gonna count four more. Three, four, let's do one more since I probably forgot. Video is the proof though, we'll see how many I really did. my calves on the left and hold and then come back down that's one so now my core needs to be stabilized don't need to have an arch in my back I need to pelvic tilt squeeze my glutes core come up hold come down it's okay to fall out of it just like I did so this is why guys my shoes are always off Shoes are always off. I like to grip the ground with my toes. It helps me a lot more with stabilization and just pure balance. I can spread that pinky toe and big toe out and really grip. About anything guys is that mental it's easy to push weight every day it's easy to come in the gym let's work on things that you don't necessarily want to or enjoy doing that's what's tough that's what's going to separate you so what we're going to work on here is the external and internal rotation of my knee which is also going to help me engage my gluteus maximus. Be a external, internal rotation of the knee while stabilizing my hips, my core, my shoulders, my chest. But the main movement is that engagement of the gluteus maximus. Right. You know, we can come into the gym every single day. You can lift weights, you can go hard, you can do all the hit training. If you aren't taking care of your body, you're just gonna run your machine, your car into the ground. It might not be the prettiest thing to do. It might not be the funnest thing to do. But hit me up when you're 60, bro. But doing movements like this will definitely help when you're older. You wanna be able to run with your kids, your grandkids. Taking care of your body is key. You only get one of them. I posted a video on my ankle mobility before, but today I'm gonna to give you a little bit of a backstory on it. So I fractured my ankle about five years ago, no physical therapy after the fact, um, which led to me having a slight lean in my squats, which then caused me to strain my left glute during squats and deadlifting. So. I really regret not taking care of this mobility in my ankle at the time, but for the past maybe year and a half, I've been truly working on the mobility of my ankle here. The range of motion, slow progress, better than no progress. So basically what's going on here is there's scar tissue built up around my ankle, which gives me little mobility. So what you want to do here is keep your heel flat on the ground, find your distance from the wall. So I can scoot back maybe half an inch, press towards the wall, keep the heel down, grip the ground with your toes as well. Do that for both ankles. So this side is beautiful. This is a healthy ankle. One thing I have to remember, 
is that my ankles are never going to be the same again. I have to adjust and find what works best for my body now. Of course, I strive for perfect form though. It's kind of tough. Limited range of motion here. And I like to come out of the squat, reset, shake my legs off, get some blood flow back in there, and go back into it a few more times. about two rounds of those. So we're going to do the swan dive. So you want a slight bend in this knee that you're balancing on. You want to do a nice hinge and then you're going to go both ways here. It's okay to fall out. I personally like to reset. I will try to go for multiple reps. Sometimes I'll alternate the legs. It just depends on what works best for you. All right guys, if you like what you saw today, definitely implement some active recovery movements into your routine. If you have any questions, go ahead and DM me, call me, email me, anything along these lines here. I have that be fun. All right.